Well, I want to talk to you today about uh, a topic that uh, is very relevant in the corporate world today, and it's about showing respect in times of emotional stress. Now, that emotional stress, you find a lot of CEOs and company executives have trouble having that difficult conversation with stakeholders or employees, whether it be by uh, terminating employment or just simply doing a performance review. Now, that showing respect is a uh, was instilled in me from a very early age basically by my mother and her mantra was it costs nothing to be nice and I want to relate that uh, that mantra to uh, some of my uh, p uh, previous experience of uh, being in the, uh, the New South Wales Police for a period of 18 years and there's two stories I want to share with you in particular one's about a, uh, a, an ab a Koori uh, male that we found in a, in a house and also in regards to a homicide that I investigated. The Koori male was um, found in the, uh, the bedroom of an elderly ladle in the, uh, the western city suburb of Bradbury. What had happened was the police were called, she had come running from the house and when I entered the house he was found under the bed. He was actually armed with a knife. So the person was arrested and he was sent back to the Campbelltown police station awaiting for me to return uh, to the police station to interview him. But on the way back we decided that afternoon to stop at a bakery to pick up uh, what was left for the day to take it back for the uh, overnight for the, the shift. Now, that wasn't donuts. It was actually proved to be cherry slice. So this is a story is essentially about a curry and cherry slice. Right back at the police station, uh, made myself a cup of coffee and grabbed myself a, a piece of cherry slice. Walked out to the cell area and the curry male that we had rested in the, under, into the bed was actually in the cells. He saw me and came running at the cells and jumped onto the cell bars and was screaming and shouting and cussing and you know thinking that I was going to play the good cop bad cop person. I simply said to him would you like a piece of cherry slice? His demeanour went from aggression, anger to one of being calm. He was removed from the cells, taken into the interview room and given a piece of cherry slice and a cup of coffee. That day he uh, just wanted to tell me what he had done. There was no animosity, there was no, there was no anger in him. So basically that anger and respect that I showed to him was quelled over a piece of cherry slice. He ended up telling me what I needed to know and the, the, the crime was solved. The other story I want to share with you is about a homicide I investigated a few years ago back in Albury. Now the offender's name in this story was uh, Joseph Allen Ladd and his son's name was Conan. Obviously they watched a lot of movies between them. Joseph had a, uh, a very violent history and he'd come to, uh, to Albury uh, with his son and he had uh, murdered uh, a resident he lived with. He went on the run and we found him somewhere um, in a little town near Bruthen, 50 k's in off, the, um, off the, uh, the road up in the bush. I remember the day we arrested him, his son, Conan, was 11 or 12 years of age and he was dressed in rabbit skins typical of the young child in the Mad Max movies. We put him in the, in the police vehicle to take him back to, uh, to Bruthen to interview him and he was sitting between two burly Victorian police officers in the back and two of us in the front. Knowing he was telling us he was going to stab us and, and you know all this sort of stuff which was out of character for an 11 year old boy, we came across KFC coming into town. I simply turned to him and said, Conan would you like some KFC? He said to me, of course can I get the toys? Once again, show a little bit of respect. He went back, the, uh, we did what we had to do, we interviewed his father, he was convicted of, uh, of murder in the New South Wales Supreme Court and sentenced. The moral of that story was I showed him respect all the way through it. He actually wrote me a letter from his jail cell in, um, in northern New South Wales thanking me for that respect. And I, I reminisced and sort of reflected on that and it really took me back to what my mother had said to me. It costs nothing to be nice.